Welcome to lipids part four. Yeah, double check. Cholesterol. All right, so cholesterol has two primary roles in the body. Um, one, to reinforce the structure of the cell membrane, and the other, it's an important um, precursor to many compounds. Um, let's go ahead and get started and look at cholesterol a little more closely. All right, so um, yeah, um, we'll also talk about some other steroid hormones as well. Right, so this first role we've already talked about when we were learning about cell membranes, right? That the cholesterol is distributed among those hydrophobic tails of the phospholipids, right? To help maintain the structure of the membrane. So this, um, these cell membranes are very busy, so it's hard to find a good schematic. But if we look here, these little circles are representing cholesterol. So if we look closely, we can see that they're distributed all over the inside of the cell membrane, giving it rigidity and structure. So, um, right, and here's one pointed out right here. All right, so then just to kind of give a brief recap of cell membrane structure, right? So we always have, right, there's the phospholipids, with their polar heads poking out and their hydrophobic tails in the center. We see our membrane proteins acting as um, channels and receptors. And then we can notice here, here's a glycolipid and we see these sugars that also react, um, act as um, receptors. So that's the, the, main, the main parts we need to know about a cell membrane. So now we'll go on to cholesterol's other role in the body is that basically it's a very important um, biological precursor to a, a ton of important um, compounds. So here's our buddy cholesterol. We've looked at it several times. We recognize right there's the steroid ring and then we know it's called cholesterol because of that alcohol functional group. So. Um, we'll study um, bile acids more closely in a future video, but they are made from cholesterol. Vitamin D, we all know about that. It's important for strong um, teeth and bones, and if we don't have enough of it, we get rickets. And then, of course, the hormones, which are, um, for the most part, are steroid-based. So Let's look a little close, more closely now at um, cholesterol and its role as a precursor. So we have the structure one more time. And um, we'll see that, that cholesterol is the precursor for five different classes of steroid hormones. So here's cholesterol, right? So we just want to train our eye to look for the fused steroid um, rings, the four fused rings. And then we'll look a little more closely. So what are these other um, five classes of hormones that, we, that cholesterol will um, be used to synthesize? So we have the glucocorticoids. And as you would imagine, right, it's related to carbohydrates but also protein and lipid metabolism. They're also um, very powerful anti-inflammatory and immunosuppressant um, agents. And then we have the mineral corticoids. And so as their name would imply, right, minerals, metals like sodium and potassium, um, um, and other, and other um, trace metals, they um, help to regulate their balance in the tissues. And then the last group would be the, basically what we would, the sex hormones. So the progestins, like progesterone, the androgens, such as um, testosterone, which we think of more as the male hormones, and then the estrogens, such as estradiol, which we think of more, right, so we tend to think of the estrogens as female, and testosterone as male. Of course, within us, we always have a mixture of both. It's just which dominates. And um, the female hormones are synthesized from testosterone. So 
Um, that pretty much wraps up cholesterol, right? There's, we want to know about its two major functions, um, its role in the cell membranes and then its role as a precursor. And then we want to know the role of the five different classes of um, cholesterol-based steroids. So please take some time now to work homework problems to reinforce your understanding.